Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Let me ask you a question. It looks like many churches are suffering. They are closing these days, especially because of pandemic all around the world. Can churches survive? Are they secure? Do you want to know the answer? Then stay tuned. This week's theme is who we are. We are secured. And today's verse is from Matthew 16, 18. Let's go to the first section, exposition. Let's read Matthew 16, 18. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Of course, this is what Jesus was saying to Peter when Peter made a very amazing confession. He said in verse 16, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And then verse 17, Jesus said, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So when Peter said, Jesus, you are the Christ, but that was not a normal statement. It was a godly statement that was coming from the Lord. And based on that confession, Jesus is saying, you're Peter. And Peter, the name Peter means rock, right? Petra. So that's why it says, on this rock, I will build my church. So Jesus is the one who builds the church, not the human, but he is building his church based on this solid confession about who Jesus is. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So even the power of Satan, the darkness cannot prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. This week, we are starting a new theme, Secured. We want to know how secure we are and how secure God's church is. Today's verse can be puzzling. Is Peter the foundation of the church or his confession? Now, I like, I like this interpretation. The foundation of the church is the revelation of God given through his apostles, and the Lord of the church is the cornerstone of that foundation. By grace to you. The church is secure because the foundation is secure. But humans are weak. He was a, Peter was affirmed by Jesus when he made a great confession in the beginning. Yet, all of a sudden, he was rebuked by Jesus by trying to protect Jesus with a human thought. Not only that, Peter denied Jesus three times. While well, church is like Peter. Jesus is perfect because he is God, but the church is not perfect. Look at us. Church is not a building, but a people of God. Are people of God perfect? No. We are saved by God's grace, but we are still struggling. We still have lots of issues, just as Peter had. However, we see God secures His church. He protects His church from the gates of hell. In this pandemic, many churches are suffering from an attendance drop. Many people think the churches are dying. Studies show that lots of churches are closing their doors. Are churches really all dying and there will be no more churches in future? No, that is not the case. Throughout history, we see that God's church has not been destroyed. God has continued His churches. Since the beginning of the church 2,000 years ago, God has been holding His churches. Churches are not perfect as Peter was not, yet God, who is perfect, holds His churches perfectly. So instead of being fearful about the future, we must be thankful for how strong God is and how strongly He holds us. If one church closes its door, God will use His people to plant another church to make disciples of all nations until He comes back. By the way, please leave your comments below and share your thoughts on how you, how you would interpret or apply this verse. Now remember the keywords here, Peter, rock, church. So the, um, the main idea is Jesus builds his church on the rock. Now I don't really have a special memory device for this one, but you can come up with your own. And if you have any better idea to memorize this Matthew 16, 18, please leave in, your, uh, in the comment section below. Now let's read this verse three times out loud. Pause the video. 
Okay, now close your eyes and recite the verse word by word. Pause the video. Now let's fill in the blanks and check it. And I'll tell you, you are, and on this, I will build my, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The answer is Peter, rock, and church. And today's verse is Matthew 16, 18. All right, great job. You memorized 57 verses already. Please take a few minutes to review from day one. As you review them, please meditate on them and pray over the verses that God would use you as you obey those verses. You will experience tremendous blessing each day. Also, make sure to put your own emoji on 365 Empowerment checklist on the description section below. Tomorrow, we'll learn why endurance is important for us. So click the like button, hit subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss it. Also, watch the Day 57 video of 70 Days Journey to the Bible. You will get the big picture of the Bible as you get the detailed picture of each verse through this video. Alright, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.